Good morning everyone, Dave Weiner here, and today I want to show you a new feature in Fargo, and that feature is called the arrow pad, and this is how it works. So the first thing you do is go to the outliner menu and you choose show arrow pad uh, command, and then the arrow pad shows up. And you can see, of course, it's got some arrows on it, and it's got a couple of buttons, and the arrows is why it's called the arrow pad. So now I have can click on any one of these arrows, and when I do so, the cursor moves. And I can move it up. Now when I get to the first one, notice that the cursor is, the up arrow cursor is disabled. Uh, but I can go right, or I can go left, and I can go down, let's go right. And if I go right, you'll see that from here I can go down, and I can go left, uh, and I can also go right because um, there's stuff underneath this rebooting the internet piece uh, and if I go right it moves me right into it and I go left and I go back out and notice now let's just talk about this button here this is the expand and collapse button and uh, it can be a little bit difficult on a tablet by the way that's what this is designed for this is designed to make uh, Fargo, the outliner, work a little bit better on a tablet. Uh, it can be kind of hard to double click to expand and collapse, so we just put a big button there that you can hit with your finger, and when you click it, it collapses, and the button then changes to expand. Click it again, and we can go expand, collapse, expand, collapse, etc., etc. So now there's just one more thing to show you. Here, let's go out just to nail this. Go down to September. And from September, if I go down, I go to August, and down from there, I go to July. It doesn't matter whether something's expanded or not. Uh, the structural move allows me to go a very big uh, sort of physical distance just to go a little bit of logical. It's like the difference between logical and physical different, uh, distance. So now the one other thing I can do using this is I can reorganize. And this on a, Desktop is accomplished with a dragging move with the mouse, but it's a little hard to do on a tablet. So if you want to move something, so let's say I wanted to move, this is ridiculous, but let's say I wanted to move uh, September 9th underneath September 7th. In another outline, that might actually make some sense. So what I do is I click on Navigate button, and notice it changes to Reorg. What that means is that the when I click on the arrows, instead of uh, navigating, instead of just moving the cursor, it actually moves the outline that the cursor is attached to. So from here, I could move it out. Here, let's move it out a level. So you see now September is at the same level as a month. And I move it down, so it's moving down in that list. Now it's moving up in the list. Notice that when I move something, everything that's underneath it moves with it. So this is like the cool thing about outliners is that you just can pick things up. It's almost like the text is on rails. So what I say I wanted to move 9th under, I think I said I wanted to move it under September 7th. So what I'm going to do now is move it to the right, up, 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 and right. And that's it. It's in the wrong place, but it's where I said I was going to move it, right? Um, I mean, this is the wrong place in the sense that September 7th is not a subhead of September. Uh, September 9th is not a subhead of September 7th. So now it's back where it belongs. So that's it. That's the idea behind uh, the arrow pad. Thanks very much.